So telling ghost stories in old Japan was a form of uh, air conditioning in those old days before electric fans and central heating. And in this time of global warming and economic recession, I thought I'd do my part to help uh, reduce a bit of both by telling traditional Japanese ghost stories to make the blood run cold, to send shivers down your spine and give you that cold feeling that only fear, fear of supernatural can give you. So now I'm going to tell you uh, a story called uh, Mujina, which is uh, one of the stories from uh, Kwaidan, uh, it's a famous go uh, collection of ghost stories by uh, Irish author Hearn, whose uh, first name I can't pronounce. But anyway, in this story, uh, there was a ordinary man named Mujina, and sometime in the Edo period, in the 17th or 18th century, uh, he lived in Tokyo, or what then was known as Edo. He was an ordinary man, nothing uh, special about him. Uh, lived an ordinary life, and did nothing out of the ordinary. But one night, uh, as he was walking home, he decided to do something out of the ordinary, and he took a path that he normally didn't take on his way home. And this path uh, led him along a hill that was beside uh, an imperial palace of sorts, with a moat. It was a very lonely spot. Not many people traveled on this road, especially not at night. But Mujina thought he would uh, be different and try this route this night. As he was walking along that road, he was the only person on it. But he saw uh, a woman by the moat crying. He went up to her and tried to comfort her. He was worried that perhaps she was love-stricken and would throw herself into the moat and drown. So he said to her, Don't worry, don't worry, my dear. Uh, whatever it is, it will pass. Dry your eyes. But the woman continued weeping and weeping. And he wasn't sure what to do, so he just continued to console her. Finally, the woman uh, stood up, turned around to Mujina, and slowly let her sleeve come down from her face. And at that moment, Mujina was shocked and screamed out in terror because her face was completely featureless and blank. No eyes, no nose, no mouth, nothing. Just blank skin. He was so terrified, he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran up the hill into the darkness. Uh... Before long, he saw a small light in the distance, and he ran to it. It seemed to take forever to reach to that light. Uh, finally, he got to it, and it was a lantern uh, for a soba peddler. Soba is a type of Japanese noodle. And this lone peddler had his cart out in the middle of nowhere, practically, selling his noodles. But Mujina didn't, Mujina didn't care. He had found some vestige of civilization. He was so out of breath when he got there, he could, he could not tell his story to the soba peddler. He could only go, Horror, terror, I, I saw terrible, terrible thing. And the so, soba peddler was concerned and said, Have you been attacked? Have robbers uh, attacked you? Are you hurt? And the man, and Regina said, No, no. No, I'm not hurt. I, I saw a woman crying. She was crying, and I asked her what was wrong. She turned, and I saw her face, but there was... No, no, I can't. I can't repeat. I can't repeat. And the soba peddler looked at Mujina and said, By chance, did you see anything like this? And he rubbed his face, and his face became blank and devoid, just like that of an egg. And at that moment, his lantern went out.